Hey guys, it's Sarah here from Edge Art. This channel is all about graphic design stuff for creating your own fabric and also for print on demand. So if you're here for either of those two things, you're in the right place. Today we're doing a super, super quick little um, tutorial showing you how to create um, this little wee heart here using the shapes from over here. And then we're going to very quickly pop a pattern on it as well. Um, a bit later on um, in the week, I'm also going to be showing you how to do um, a heart with some text put into it as well. Um, super, super easy. So open up your Inkscape and um, I'll try and remember not to work down the bottom there so you can see what I am doing. You're going to want to create a, um, a square and I've accidentally got the stroke and things still left on this. So we will just go and turn that off and I'm going to make this a um a peach a peach heart for this time around and you want to uh, click on the square and you want to change it to be um, the same width and um, height so in this case it's 450 by 450 and i'm also going to create a circle um, and then with that as well it needs to be exactly the same measurements 450 by 450 as your um square we're going to select both of those and i'm going to change them over to object two paths so we end up with the um uh nodes being able to click there and we'll just snap you can see how that little x comes in if you put it anywhere else it won't work and you want it to snap to that point there which is exactly what you want and i am going to select those two objects so shift and click and click on each of those and i am going to um, go path and union and now that will work as um, one piece and i'm going to click on that one shape and go Control d for Control duplicate and that will have just put a new one right on top of there and i'm just going to hit the turnaround button there and i'm going to align that up and there we have you can see the heart shape starting to um, form in there and double click or oh, so shift and click on each one of those two objects and we are then going to go to union and I'm also actually just going to group those two for the moment and I am going to go object to path on all of those as well and if I click on that you can use the rotator buttons um, hold the control key there we go and rotate that round so it is uh, up the up the right way um, and then selecting that I am going to hit the control to keep it in the same um, ratio and just reduce that down to the size that I need um, it needs to be on the front so I'm just going to use the raise up button there to bring that to the front of the picture and then I am going to select both of those two there and we're going to go um, object uh, clip and set and there you have it you have your um, little wee heart so let's just zoom in there and you can see it so that is your patterned heart and you could use that with any type of pattern that you have um, brought into uh, Inkscape obviously you can just use it straight with the plain colors there if you wanted to and the way you import those um, just in case you are not 100% sure is just file import and then you can drag in any um, any pattern uh, you can do it with a photo or anything else uh, that you would like to do so it's nice and simple and I hope that was helpful um, and later on I will be showing you how to do this as well alrighty so there we go um, that's our little um, easy easy to create heart shape um, that we have created here in Inkscape and in the next uh, episode I'm going to be showing you how to create this um, border heart here out of this shape and put some text in it and um, use it to create this little wee uh, image here so that will be quite exciting that's a little bit more complicated but we will get there so just a very quickly recap you need to make your square without the fill and stroke <sighs> attached and the important thing about this is is that your square is um, say the same Let's do, say 400 by 400 and you make your circle exactly the same it doesn't matter what numbers those are it's just um, the important part is that they are the same so your circle you're using measurements that are equal so this um, the width measures their height 
and the width message measures the height on this. It doesn't matter what kind of measurement you use or whatever it is, um, just as long as they are the same measurement. And then you're going to select both of them, turn them into um, path, object to path, and then you can move your circle to it clicks, there we go, on that little um, square there. And then you can select both of them. We're going to go um, path and union. And there's our little shape and we're going to control D for duplicate. You can spin it around and then um, uh, make those two join to there. And then I just like to, um, you can union those, but at that point, um, oh, you don't need to group them at that point, that's okay. And uh, control, control and spin it around. And then you put it over the top of your pattern, which I don't have here. Uh, oh, what's going on up there? Um, then you need to put it over the top of your pattern. So you're going to go to File and Import, and you're going to import whatever pattern um, you want to do. So let's just do this one for the moment. So import your pattern. There it is. Uh, make sure that's Object Path, and we're going to reduce that down to the size we need it to be. Make sure it goes to the top of the um, uh, thing there, uh, select both of those and we're going to go object clip and object set. There we go. And there you have your little wee heart shape. Okay, and you can do that with um, obviously any background. As I said before, photographs, um, seamless patterns, they don't need to be seamless patterns. So um, any other digital art or anything like that that you want to do. And that's it, it's nice and easy. So do hit subscribe, um, leave a comment if there's anything else you want me to, um, to show you how to do. And in the next episode, I'll be showing you how to do this little heart, except I will um, put the rounded corners. I've obviously just used the wrong ones there. As you can see, these little corners here are rounded on um, this other one over here. Whereas these are not, and I will show you how to create that using the shape here that we have um, done today. Anyway, so thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye guys.